In this video, I'm going to walk you through the chart of accounts section of Mantis property and how you can access that and also create new ledgers that are not related to specific contracts. So to access this, you click on trust accounts on the left hand menu and it will bring up this screen here. This will show you any trust accounts you have and you can click on any of these buttons to access these areas within the trust account. So in here we click on chart of accounts. This will then give a current chart of accounts for this trust account. As you can see, we don't have any ledgers set up, which means that there are no current contracts with a balance that relate to this trust account and there's no other ledgers set up. So we're going to create a new ledger here for vendor paid advertising. So to do that, we click on add new account. This just gives you a warning that if you're adding a new account to make sure that it's not related specifically to a contract, if you want to add a new ledger relating to a contract, that is automatically done when you create the contract. So here we'll just click OK. And we'll give this a name. Vendor paid advertising. Here we put in some bank details. And click add account. Now you can see we have this vendor paid advertising account and it's showing the current balance as zero. If we want to add some transactions to this account, we can click on view and this will take us to this specific ledger. Here we can add deposits or payments. So basically a deposit is money coming into the ledger and a payment is money going out of the ledger. So we're going to add a deposit to say that we've received some money from a vendor. We'll choose the payment method as cash. Here you can choose who it's received from. You can either click the plus button to add a new contact or you can just start typing a person's name and it will appear in the drop down here. You can enter whatever you want this is in regards to and then in the description put in whatever description you want to appear on your ledger. In here, we select that amount. So we're going to say $10,000. And the next option is to generate receipt. This is automatically ticked. If you leave this ticked, the next screen will allow you to generate a receipt and send it to that vendor. So we click on continue. Here, we choose who the money was received by from your drop down and then send the receipt to. It automatically defaults to the email address of the contact, but you can overwrite that with whatever you want. And then you just click email receipt. This now indicates this receipt has been sent via email. At any time, you can always come back to this ledger and click on generate receipt, and this will let you resend it again if you want. Or you can click on view here and this will give you the details of that transaction. If you've accidentally created a transaction that you don't need anymore, you can click delete transaction and it will do that. You can delete any transactions that you want as long as those transactions have not been reconciled yet.